I looked at your um, B course and beyond or whatever your video is called. Yeah. I was just thinking about some different drills to try. And it, it, just off the top of your head, is there anything that leading into that course makes sense to you to, to focus on? Well, I definitely uh, to to explore the the range of the recovery arc and try yeah. to extend that range, right? So in both directions. Yep. So f finding ways to, for instance, make the canopy dive longer has the advantage of you being able to start off with a pretty high initiation altitude and still carry the speed down to the ground, you know, by mm -hmm. modifying methods. So things like, you know, I'm, I'm in the brakes before I start my fronts, sort of rock and surge into doubles. How long do I do that? Where do I pull those double front risers and sort of getting comfortable with, you know, so some people really like to literally bring their, their links into here. Yeah. You know, so some more stability in the canopy in some ways. Um, you drive it down the hill, then you start smooth and then sharper into a turn. You know, you, you just a 90, same principles. Yeah. Um, so you sort of, you know, you look at your numbers and, you know, each time you try to extend that recovery arc, um, and from that, it's going to put you in a position where you can start nice and high and then you can modify, you know, and, and over, over time you can drop that altitude, but I want you to start as high as you can. Yeah. 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 So that your, your brain has time to sort of catch up to all the things that might be different from what you expected <laughs> you yeah. know, for, from the wind and the traffic and the, the where where you are on the ground. And you, maybe you planned on being here and you're over here and now there's a building or a mock up um, and having that extra altitude is going to give you more solution set. Yeah, that so, makes sense. So, so getting good at making that sucker really go down the hill and stay going down the hill. So yeah. I would start with that one. And the other one is the save your ass stuff of how can I shorten the recovery arc for the same amount of heading change where I still prioritize carrying the speed into the swoop and getting a swoop. This is doesn't have to be all or nothing. I can turn a little bit on the low side and still get a great swoop where everybody goes, wow, psh, dude, that was nice. They don't know that I hooked 100 feet lower. Then, then I know I did it right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If right. they watch me, like, dude, are you okay? That was really scary. Well, then I didn't do a very good a job of, of band-aiding my screw up. <laughs> so I would I would urge you to work on things like driving in a front riser turn, and and sort of as as you go, pretend, oh my God, the ground's coming. Get off that front riser pretty quickly and stab those brakes while you maintain the bank angle that you have, and then yeah. roll out of it, right? Okay. As opposed to the get off of it, jerk a toggle to put the parachute over your head with respect to the roll axis, mm -hmm. then hit the brakes. By then, you've already hit the ground. Yeah, doing <laughs> so, a carving. Right? Yeah, gotcha. So you prioritize nosing the canopy up at the given roll angle that you've got, and then you roll out of that turn after you've increased the lift of the parachute with the jerk on the brakes, uh, and, and you don't try to stop, you know, zero the roll so early that you induce a roll oscillation. That's why, you, that's why you let it keep turning as you're sort of shallowing your flight path as you jerk the brakes first, then that. So get really good at that one. And I would also do that even a much more modified version where you're just sort of holding a bit of brakes and you surge the canopy down the hill, you know, so your hands up quickly enough that you feel a loss of weight. There's pros and cons to that one because once yeah. you unleash that loading, you know what I mean? You, you surge the canopy by the loss of drag on the canopy, the loss of lift on the canopy. It dives and the lines get slack. Yeah. And there's a period of time that it's not going to recover, but you can shorten the amount of time that goes by and the amount of altitude necessary to level off by being sharp with a small impact. Yeah. Okay. How much? I don't know. It's your canopy. And facilitating that recovery by getting small in the process of bumping your brakes. Okay. Make, make that process sort of natural. So in other words, you go to the brakes, you surge it and you lose the lift and then you get it back super quick Okay. without, without any of this going on. You know what I mean? It's just straight into the level flight, recognizing that at any point you can shock load your brake lines and boom, cause that canopy to go back over your head and even a little behind you. Right. Gotcha. So that's that's the stuff that I think that you should work work on more than anything else. Okay. Stay forward. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo!
you can hear the crowd in the distance. No way. That is awesome. 19 years old.